Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm gonna to finish what I started the other day with this stump. Last time, I dug this hole around it and built a big fire thinking it would come up the stump and light it, and it felt like that was working. It was starting to burn up, really kind of the fire was boring into the stump, and I thought this is just gonna burn forever. And then it poured rain for the next 36 hours and wasted any progress I might have made. But there were so many good comments on there. I think I'm going to try a couple of them. I've already done the method where I drill holes and pour oil in it. So I'm going to do something different today. And whether it works or not, it's going to be one heck of a good time. I'm gonna see if I can plunge my my little camp axe into it and pull that piece out. If there's a hollow spot in the middle or a weak spot, that'll work. If not, I'll have to find a way, another way to cut it. This is a 25 inch bar and I've also got a 36 I could put on it. But I don't think 36 inches will make it through this, so it doesn't really matter. I could try to hit the same spot from the other side, but that would be a guess. What I think I'm going to do is go 90 degrees over on the stump and make a vertical cut. And that will cut that piece loose. And it should allow it to, to pop free. And then I might try to hit it from the back side too. You guys want to say it or you want me to say it? All right, I'll do it. Woo, doggy! So now I've got a hole in the front of the tree. I've got big, long slits coming in from four spots on the side. I want to poke a hole in the back now. And if I can poke a hole in the back of it and have my hole in the back hit this hole, then I'll really have airflow through there, which is what we're after. All right, I'm hoping some of you guys who run chainsaws a lot can help me out here because I'm confused. I bore cut all the time. If the flat of my hand is the tree, I start my saw out like I'm going to cut straight through it. I get it, the tip in a little bit, then I turn and I plunge. And I've done that hundreds of times. I've never had the bar fight me. This, today, that bar is just bucking all over the place. I can't hold it still to do a bore cut. I did hand sharpen this chain. I mean, could it be that I filed the rakers too much? But I filed them with the 3-in-1 tool with the tooth, so that shouldn't be the case. But I've never had my saw try to buck like this. <laughs>
All right, guys, even if I'm tooting my own horn, I gotta say that's not terrible. On the first try, you can see my top cut hit within a quarter inch of the spot. And then I went narrow on one side, but otherwise, like we got a straight bore through that tree. So the idea now is I'm gonna pack this chamber full of charcoal and light it up. And then I'm gonna build a bonfire around this and because it's got air that can pass all the way through and it can, the air can pass through these slits on the side, it should just sit here and burn. And as it's still got to burn down through this, which is your challenge, but now it's going to be fed air and it will have fuel above it, which those two things don't hurt you. All right, so I've got a good fire in there. Now I can add material to it through this hole. You know, I wanna give it plenty of fuel, but not too much. I don't wanna block the airflow, but I think cutting, you can see smoke coming out of the hole right now on the side. When I went in to see if we had any charcoal or if I had to go to the store, there's one of those fireplace bricks in the bag sitting there, so I started it with that. And then this is small pieces of slab wood off the sawmill. I'm kind of a master of grasping a concept and trying it in a video and doing it almost right. Really need, if there was a hole straight out the top of that, this would have been so much better because that it's venting the smoke and it's letting air through right now. But if that could suck the flame up into that stump above it, it would have been so much better. And I thought about it, but the way this is, I didn't have any way to get on top of it. There's there's nowhere for me to stand. I would have had to cut it down lower for me to be able to get up there and do it with the chainsaw. And that I didn't have a drill bit. I should have just went and bought a nice large diameter long auger bit and drilled holes down through the middle. What I'm trying to decide now is if I just want to leave it the way it is and come down here every 30 minutes and stick a piece of wood in there and just let it burn like that. Or if I want to light all this around it. And I'm leaning towards lighting all of it. The only downside to lighting all of it is when if I run out of fuel inside there, I can't add fuel directly into the hole that I carved. So I stepped away for probably an hour and a half. I had some other things to do. I had a delivery of compost for some gardens. Came back and that was still burning, but there wasn't that much fuel in it. So I threw some more charcoal in there. Doing great. We're going to have to leave soon. We got a baseball game tonight, but when I get back, I'll be back down here this evening and show you the progress on it. After some of this small stuff burned off, we've still got a nice fire coming out the stump, but it was shooting up the side. So I'm gonna to try to push some of this stuff that's burning hot up against it a little better. So right here is the hottest fire we've got going, and I've got a giant piece of wood. Well, I'll just show it to you. This right here was that six foot diameter tree that I had to cut into little pieces to even be able to move with my skid steer. I'm gonna drop that on that hottest burning part and then use it to push the whole pile up against the stump we're trying to get rid of. 
Some people make comments like, yeah, but you wasted all that wood when I burn a stump out. I, was, I didn't waste anything. This is junk that I needed to get rid of. That's not good firewood. I bet that burns and burns and burns. All right, guys, it's been an hour and a half since I added fuel to this. And if you look, there are flames coming out of the slits I cut in the side of that stump. It's no longer just burning the fuel I put in it, it's burning the stump. All right, you can see that it's completely burned through the sides of the stump and it worked the way I hoped it would. But now the hope is that it continues to burn down because where I cut that hole is maybe six inches above ground level. So we need it to keep working. And I've got this fire that is below it and is kind of burning up the roots. But I kind of think from previous experience, it's gonna take one more day to get rid of this by coming out here tomorrow and blowing these ashes off. And we'll still have hot embers out here and it'll just be a matter of pushing some of this stuff on it some more. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that again now and see what we can get done. This sucker's about to be burning really hot. It already is, but I'm gonna shove all this brush from the outside onto it and we're gonna get it flaming high. So you're gonna see one more video about this stump. And in the last video, I'll probably retell the story of how we got here in the first few minutes, and then I'll show this hole being filled back in once it's all done. So, I don't know, it may not be ideal for some of you guys to drag this story out into multiple videos, but if you wanna watch the whole thing in one video, there'll be a link right up here where you can watch that. Now not, the day it comes out, that link won't exist, but within a week or so, I'll have another video up here showing you the whole process. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video, and I'll see you on the next one.